Hey Scorpio, how you guys doing my love? I'm with you Tip. I'm going to bring you a midweek energy check, see where you and your person are. It's going to be a you versus them. I just want to say thank you guys for all the love and support you have shown my channel. If it resonates, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you know when all of my future readings come out. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It's not going to resonate for everybody, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Do not force it to fit your situation, okay? Thank you guys for all the donations that you have sent to my channel. That is greatly appreciated. That keeps me going. If you would like to donate or would like to schedule a personal reading, all the information will be in the description box. If not, it will be on my channel. I am running a special right now, okay? Uh, with that being said, let's go, let's go. Scorpio. Let's go, let's go. Scorpio. Hey, let's go, let's go. Scorpio. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm in a good mood today. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Scorpio. Spirit, ancestors, and guides. Scorpio's overall energy. Thank you. Recovery. Oh, shit. Okay. You're healing. You're in a state of healing. It's up to you. Okay, you might be back and forth. Okay? You might be up and down is what I'm feeling. You know, some days you feel like you're doing well and you, you know, you're, you're in a good spot. Hold on one second. Let me take, I'm starting to get hot. Okay, so some days you feel like you're in a really good spot, right? And you're doing good. And then other days you're you're like, you know, uh, you feel like you're going to fall apart, right? And the reason why I say that is because at the bottom it's, it's up to you. You are healing. You're doing very, very well. You're moving on from something. You're coming out of that state of constant sadness. But to me, it's like you have your days, right? And some days you'll be like, well, should I move on or, you know, am I doing right? And, and, and it puts you back into this sad, sad place, right? But, but really it's up to you if you want to keep pushing, you know, don't be in this negative state. Let's see about your person. Yep, um, yep. I feel like the reason why you're up and down is because whenever you start to heal from this person, um, that's when they come in and to try to sweep you off your feet. Yep, and that's when they come in and they're like, we can be good, we can be successful, we can have this. And so it kind of has you like up and down. But I feel like this person is going, if there's something, okay, if you're in this state where you want some peace to come to a connection you want us something to come back together is what i'm feeling here with recovery you want this to come back together so somebody is going to be taking action towards you scorpio okay and it's going to lead to success what you've been wanting okay something is going to be very very successful you've been waiting okay i'm telling you yeah yeah you've been waiting on something to come back together or to come together and You've had a chance to heal during this time of waiting, okay? So now timing is on your side. Now this person is ready to take action, okay, and bring this together for this success. Let's see mutual energies. Scorpio and their person. Did something flip? Did something flip? Improving health. Mm -hmm. I feel like both of you guys have been very, very anxious, very, very sad. I feel like this connection has affected both of you physically, not just mentally, okay? And I feel like this person will be taking action towards you, and this is when this, this healing is going to come. This is when you're going to start feeling way better about yourself. You're going to start coming out of this cloud that you've been in. And look, once again, even though I shuffled them, success at the bottom. That's crazy. Let's see. Let's get one more mute. One more. Remain positive. So both of you guys are trying to remain positive about this situation, okay? Look, and I was trying to put this up, and it said perfect timing. And I just said that for a long time, you've waited on this, this healing to come into this connection. And... But spirit was waiting on perfect timing. The timing is now. This person is taking action. Both of you guys are trying to remain positive. Throughout it all, you've tried to keep, you know, your head up, a brave face, act like you're okay. Um, and this person has remained positive also. You know, they were, they always knew that this was going to come back together. They just felt like it might not have been the right time, okay? And the time is now. The time is now for this person to take action. Scorpio's overall energy spirit, blame. See what 
fail. Trust and blame. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly and blame. Okay, so I accept responsibility for my well-being. I feel like there was a lot of things here within this connection that messed up the trust between the two of you. Okay, I feel like you used your intuition. Uh, you went with your gut on some things that this person might have had going on and it stirred you in the right way. Okay. And I feel like for a long time you blamed them for the way this connection went. But but then you started saying, you know, I'm responsible for putting up with that shit. I'm responsible for dealing with the shit. And I'll take blame for my own actions. We're not going to do this back and forth. It was your fault, it's your fault, it's your fault, it's your fault. You know, it's like... But but for some reason, there there's no trust here. Okay? I feel like you've been trying to move on from this person, but your intuition was telling you um, that this is connection in the divine that it's meant to be. And so you kind of healed and had faith that this uh, connection will come back into a recovery state eventually. Let's see. Let's see about your person. Yep. They made, uh, I feel like they made some bad decisions or they weren't. Ooh, they have patience, indecision, discipline. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See, to me what this says here, okay, is they were indecided on coming towards you. They weren't sure if you would deal with them, if you're going to talk to them, you know. Um, they might have went towards another situation or made some bad decisions that caused this connection to you, which you know what that is, right? And they've been patient about taking action towards you because of that. Because their intuition is telling them that because of the shit that they did, they've been scared to take action towards you. So that's why they've been having patience. They've been waiting. Look, I accept that everything happens in divine order. They've been patiently waiting for their chance to take action towards you. We have discipline. I can do whatever I set my mind to. So they've already made it up in their mind that they're coming towards you. The, the problem is they're trying to wait on the right time in order to do so. What's at the bottom? Regret. Yep. I know I cannot change the past. They wish they could go back. They wish they could change things. They wish things could have went differently. Mutual energy, success, spirit come through. That's the second time success tried to come out, right? I know that there's no greater goal than to love. Um, this is going to be a very successful connection. This, If you both open up to one another, if this person takes action, there is a chance for success here. You got to keep positive mind frame. They have to keep a mind, positive mind frame. They can't go into this, neg this negative thought process. Yep, see spirit come through. What did I just say? You can't stay in this negative thought process and humor pops out. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. Thank you, spirit. See what I'm saying? Um, don't focus on the past. Remain positive. That came, remain positive. And then over that is I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. That tells you that's confirmation, okay? Um, that this is something that's divine. This is something that's meant to be. This is something that'll be very, very good for you and successful. But you guys cannot dwell on the past and what has happened, right? At the bottom, we have growth. I want to expand my consciousness and awareness. Um, yeah, and these are some lessons that you have to learn in order for this growth within this connection. Let's see, Scorpio. One, one for the Scorpio, one for my Scorps. soulmate see what i'm saying yes this is your soulmate which you already know that like i felt like that from the beginning like this is a divine connection it's something that's meant to be together especially when spirit is trying to like i can call it early especially the way you know with both of you guys mirroring each other both of you in this like very very bad place health wise mentally um your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. If you haven't already been engaged or fully committed to this person, this person wants to come in. They're taking action. They know that you're their person. They realize you're their soulmate. They want this healing. And they're coming in to offer, yeah, offer you some kind of proposal. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see about Scorpio's person over here. Damn. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart. I'm telling you, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. 
they are scared. Like, they're, like, wondering, should I go towards, you know, they don't know if this is the right time, if you've had time to heal, if it's too soon. But Spirit is trying to push them to open their heart to you and to tell you how they feel. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ. This is like um, them trying, like, for a long time they made have thought, no, maybe this is, you know, maybe there is no soulmates. But now they're realizing, like, what the fuck, this is my soulmate. Like, they're having clarity. And um, then they have, you deserve love. You are lovable. You know, this person knows that you did, that you, that you're the person that deserved all the love that they had to give. Okay. And I feel like sometimes somebody may feel, and it could be you or this person, like they're not worthy. They're not good enough. They're not worth the other person's love. And the spirit is really trying to come through and say, yes, you are lovable. You deserve this. Okay. Reconciliation at the bottom of the deck. I'm telling you, this is successful. Somebody from your past is returning. This is going to be coming together because spirit is urging them to take action. Why? Because you've already met the partner you seek. Um, this could be the one. They know this is the one. Um, forgiving and learning right under that, right? As you release and heal, heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. I'm telling you, there's a lot of healing coming. A lot of healing coming in with the, this connection. A lot of moving forward, trusting the process, loving each other, learning. You know, that's very, very beautiful. Scorpio, we're going to do some of mine. These are coming out. I pushed back my release date on these because I'm going to um, focus on a new design. I think I'm going to have my twin flame, uh, drop draw up the design instead of using a uh, graphic design so let's see let's see let's see let's see one over here spirit one over here releasing these burdens see what i'm saying i feel like there was a lot of you know stress when it came to this connection i don't even know what it was because i'm not even seeing really like third party i don't know there was something that ended this connection but in spirit, now you're you're in, you know you're trusting the process. You're releasing whatever has happened. You might even be trying to release this person. Yep. See, uh, breaking a cycle underneath there. I think that you guys, if you guys have gone through this before, this is finally this person breaking these cycles, releasing the past, and moving forward um, confidently, beautifully. Let's see what else we got. You're working on yourself, Scorpio. Let's see. Let's get one more for Scorpio spirit. Thank you. I want you to melt in my mouth, you freaks. And someone needs an ego check. Yeah, there's a lot of pride here, okay? You you might have a lot of pride issues with letting this person back in because of the things that have happened. It's like, no, no. Um, or this person could be very prideful, really think they're the shit, you know, God's gift or whatever. But that falls over releasing these burdens. So I feel like it's like, whereas you feel like your pride is too strong because of what has happened in the past to let this person back in. Now it's kind of like, I'm releasing that. I'm going to move forward. I want you to melt in my mouth. Yeah, you old freaking freaky leakies. You know, y'all trying to get some freaky shit going on. That is a Scorpio trait. Y'all are the freakiest of the Zodiac. Um, if not, this person definitely wants to come in and uh, please you. Uh with um their mouth <laughs> i'm sorry guys like i it may I, we all do it okay so i mean if that bothers you i'm sorry i'm not trying to be you know raunchy but that's what's came out okay 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 we all do it if you're not sexually active with your person then that's not you uh, but if you're not, they might still want to come in and orally satisfy you. But somebody here wants to be orally satisfied, wants to orally satisfy the other person. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, I'm, and you know what's crazy is in my mind I'm picturing, um, what are them things, them geysers? I don't know why I just see a geyser splashing. Now y'all are some freaks, okay? <laughs> we ain't even finna go there. But that's what I'm seeing. Either my spirit guys are freaky ass motherfuckers. No, I'm just kidding. Y'all aren't mother cluckers. I'm sorry, Grandpa. I don't mean that. Okay, look. Unconditional love. This person loves you unconditionally. They know they fucked up something that was real. Okay? This person, no matter what has happened between us, they, um, 
they see that you love them unconditionally, that you have shown them this love. And then at the bottom, I played so long and always had my way being childish. I hurt the person meant to stay. So they, they might have been very, very childish, done some really dumb shit, made some very bad decisions, not thinking as a responsible man or woman, you know, thinking very childishly. Um, and, and it hurt the person that was meant to be in their life. And then look again, twin flame every single lifetime. Bruh. Y'all have dealt with each other in past lives. This is your person. This is a divine counterpart. Let's see mutual energy spirit. Mutual energy for my Scorpios. Thank you. I check your social media. I can't help it. So both of you guys are watching and stalking each other. You know, trying to see what each other got going on. If you're not in communication, this person is really, really worried about what you might have going on. They're very, very worried that it's over for good and that you've moved on. I feel like you're also worried with that being mutual. I feel like you guys think that there's no chance of this coming back together. And that's why you're trying to recover and heal. Um, but at the end of the day, it's like you're the only person in the room. It's like you guys don't see anybody else. It's like you've tried to move on if you have. And it's like it's, it's impossible to do. Why? Because your mind is constantly on this other person. I'll give you everything I have. Y'all are willing to work on this. I feel like even though you act like you don't look at the bottom of the deck, we have the sun card. This is where your happiness will come from. This will bring you both a lot of joy. Let's see what the tarot got for the Scorpio for the next two days, February 3rd to the 5th spirit. Oh my gosh, dude. I cannot make this shit up, guys. I cannot. Six of Wands. What's that? Success. Victory. Okay? That's going, you know, the Five of Wands, you're going to war. You're battling it out. Now, this is the success after all that conflict. Now, look. Now, look. Out of 78 cards, how does the Emperor and the Empress pop out together? Y'all see what I'm saying? You guys are a divine counterpart. This is meant to be, okay? With twin flames, I'm just going to, you know, if this is, I know some people are like, if this is my soulmate, if this is um, my divine counterpart, divine counterparts are toxic. They don't hurt you. Actually, a twin flame is the hardest uh, journey, the hardest connection that you'll ever have to deal with, okay? Why? Because at one time your souls were one, and now, you know, now... Your your higher selves know each other, okay, and know how strong this love is. But our lower selves, this flesh and blood, we can't handle a connection that strong. So usually the more spiritual ascended one, they they keep ascending, right? And the one that's less spiritually ascended, they run. They run from the connection. They're scared of the connection. They can't handle it. But that's when they learn the lessons to bring um, connect the, the success, okay? You could have kids with this person. If not, you will end up having kids with this person. With the emperor and the empress, this person can be selfish at times, but they're learning from that. They want to do the right thing. They could be worried about what people say. You're abundant. You got your shit together. You're amazing. You're glowing up. You you know, you're doing it. You got the Midas touch. Everything you touch, you know, turns to gold here, right? This is beautiful. This is divine. I, you know, this is the weirdest shit. Out of all the decks, and I just said the emperor and the empress, the most powerful couple that you can have. You know, that's more, you get the king and the queen of cups, the king and the queen. No, this is the, the, the most highest elevated you can be. This is twin flame energy. You're meant to be with this person. There might be a third party. Either you've grown cold and detached, but this could be another person looking in on this connection of karmic energy. Um, yeah, that has came in between this connection and now they don't want this connection to come in. They might have done some messy ass shit. They might be trying to do messy shit to keep this connection from coming in. They're very, very jealous. Um, and they're very, very bitter because they're realizing that they're a karmic. A karmic cannot, uh, this cannot compete with this. Yep, because look, you got you got the two of pentacles. Somebody was juggling two people here. Somebody was juggling two people here and it blew up in their face. Yep. And so I feel like you took action on that and you were like, okay, well, I'm done. I'll be single and abundant. 
Shit, I might be heartbroken, but I'm making my money. Fuck that shit. You took action. They see you. They see this is pre-empress mode in the Nine of Pentacles, and you out. You're the empress, right? So you you uh this ended, and you spiritually ascended. You worked on yourself. You're in pre-empress mode. All you need is this emperor to come in, and that's when you'll be in full empress mode status. Okay. That's absolutely beautiful. Scorpio, that's your reading. Until next time, my loves, hit that notification bell so you know when my future readings come out, by the way. But until next time, peace.